Hi, my name is Karen Audio. I'm the author of three historical novels for young readers set in the early 1900s. And the third book, it's actually a trilogy, and the third in the trilogy is Sabotage, which I've just completed. And it is set in 1915 at a time when paranoia was rampant in Canada against enemy aliens. When I was growing up in a small town called Nipigon, Ontario, I heard that there had been an incident during the First World War where uh, there was an attempt to destroy the Canadian Pacific Railway Bridge. And I found it hard to believe. It's a small town of 2,500 people. Would there really have been sabotage attempts there? Well, as I was working on my second book, Sarah's Passage, I came across research that proved to me that it really did happen. One of those items was the newspaper article from March of 1915 that documents the arrest of the spies who were looking at um, how to go about sabotaging that bridge. And so that began uh, my quest to learn more about sabotage attempts in Canada during the First World War and eventually developed into the novel Sabotage. I was surprised to learn that out of the 24 internment camps uh, that were set up in Canada during the First World War, two of them had women and children as well as men. One of them was in Quebec and had uh, women and children of Ukrainian ethnicity, but the other one was in Vernon, British Columbia, and had uh, w men, women, and children of German ethnicity. As I was putting together the materials for the back of my book, Sabotage, I was able to get hold of a copy of a photograph of two children in the Vernon internment camp at that time. Can you imagine what life was like behind barbed wire? for children as young as this. When I start working on a book, uh, I do a lot of research just to get the outline figured out. And uh, then as I start to, um, to get into the writing, um, I would do a much more detailed outline with a lot more research. And the tricky part for me is stopping the research and getting on to the writing because I love doing the research and digging up those fascinating details about life in the past and then how to work that into my character's experience. 